we're running an experiment today. We've been drinking distilled water because there's just stuff in water that we didn't want. We do add minerals back to the water later on, but we just wanted to know if you take distilled water and make tea versus just filtered water from the tap and make tea, what's the difference in taste? So we're gonna find out with this tea that was sent to us by one of our viewers. What's it called? Himalayan Golden Black. This is a tea from Nepali Tea Traders. Filtered water will have a certain amount of minerality left in it, and that will add to the taste. Distilled water will not, but it may absorb the tea differently. So we just got curious about what noticeable difference that might make. So in Sunday school today, um, which I'm sure you could tell that it was Sunday because I'm wearing a dress, my Sunday school teacher had us write on our hands Acts, which is not only a book of the Bible, but it's also how she's been teaching us to pray. Adore, confess, thanksgiving, and supplication. Supplication is the first thing that most people do. That's asking God for what you want. So I'm going to start by grabbing my Gong Fu cup and remembering how to use this thing because it's been like three months. Yeah, you got to be careful because you can burn yourself with one of these. You're just moving the lid a little bit and letting the water spill out between the lid and the side of the cup. This one, on the other hand, is a lot easier to use. This one is a Japanese set, and it's only got the right-handed handle. It has a little hole in it to let the steam escape, and you want to avoid being right over that hole. Did I fill that with the same water? I think perhaps you did. Mm. Do you have more tea? Because you could just pour out one of them. Having warmed the guy wan, Emma is now going to add the other water. Now, this one is filtered. This, and this one is distilled. And that one is distilled. Okay. Filtered and distilled. Okay, it's got a lovely amber color to it. Slightly different. This one smells more bitter. So first we're going to try the filtered. filtered. Ooh, sweet and full and thick, as they say. Mm-hmm. Tasty. But has a bit of like a... Um... Acidity. A little. Like at the very tip of the tongue. Mm hmm. This is nice. This is a memorable one. Mm hmm. It's good. And this won't make any sense, but some teas taste bandagey to me. Latexy, I guess. I understand that. It does. It's a little bit like a band aid. So it should appeal to your average six-year-old. <laughs> Mama ran the children's choir at our church for a while. Um, Preschool choir. And she would have to stop the choir so everyone could share their uh, band-aids with each other. The distilled water, which is more recently done, but the same amount of time. Is it more bitter? It's different. It's more extracted, sweet. more extracted. So the sweet comes from the minerals then, because this would have nothing but the tea in it, but it would extract the tea. Because it's, uh, shall we say, hungry for whatever it can get into it. It's not already satisfied by the minerals. minerals in water. Okay, I'm not sure I like it as much on this side. I like this side a lot better. The so far. filtered is friendlier. Yeah. Rounder, more full, more flavor. So the minerals in your water matter. Yeah. Sharper. The distilled is sharper. They're both pretty sharp, though. 
Guess if you want to really taste your tea, distilled water makes it all about the tea and nothing else. But they talk about Scotland and it's famously soft water and how they have to use stronger tea because of it. So soft water has fewer minerals and hard water has more minerals. Distilled water has no minerals. And we're sort of used to hard water. Yeah, our water smells like flowers and celery. And if you notice any differences in the video, I'm beginning to let Emma do a good bit of the editing. So you may see her style starting to show up. My style is much more cut, show, cut, show. If you I watched, cut out a lot. If you watched my Oregon Files video, Mama likes to soften the cuts. If you watched my latest um, Oregon Files one about Plague Ship, which you can watch here, it's a very interesting book. Um, my style is more of a, I, I, I tend to take pauses in between words, but I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say. So Mama, to cut that out, she'll just cut it out and soften it. But I'm just cutting it out, zooming in, cutting out, zooming out, cutting, and so forth. We're, round we're two. Round two. Okay. Filtered. Once again, this is sweet. Almost cucumbery though. Brighter this time, maybe. Yeah. And the distilled. Oh. Flattening. Oh. And bittering. That is intense. Without the minerals, you really taste like the limes. The tea, the alkaloids in the tea. This the, tastes like limes. The tannins. I think I'm tasting the tannins. Is it sour? Yeah. Okay, so she's taking the clay, which then removes some of the flavor, softens, and she's putting what has now become rather bitter into the clay to see if that will soften the taste. We've done a whole series on same teas in different pots, so we'll link that for you. Okay. So take a sip of the one in this. Distilled. And then take a sip of the one in this. And this is now distilled, but in clay. Ooh. It didn't help much. Intense. This one was not warmed. Now, orangey is, 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 oh, no. Let me try this again here. Actually, just completely using that. We're still going to use this water. Okay, so we're brewing tea freshly. The leaves are used, but it's not the tea that has been in the porcelain with the not the water that's been in the porcelain. Finish drinking that. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh I can feel that. Mm. Alright, in the clay. Not as bad. Back to flat. Okay, this is giving me a headache. I can't drink anymore. Oh, okay, we have to come to a conclusion here. <laughs> the conclusion is the water matters. Oh, yeah. If you're just doing distilled water, you're just going to get one infusion out of it. Ugh. Filtered water tastes better. If you have something nasty in your water, yeah, use distilled water. But if it's just distilling for taste, don't do that. Just use your filtered water. I mean, some teas are better with distilled, but this was not one of them. But if you want to know the essence of your tea, and you're just like, well, I want to know everything about that tea, put it in distilled water. You find out all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. And until we see you again. I should make time for reading a good book.